My name is Matt Tegelman. I'm the product manager for the Kaiser CKB modular tooling system. And today I'll be discussing, first off, the uh, use of the SW twin cut boring heads. So we'll talk about some tips for understanding um, how these heads are best used. And we have a short video to better demonstrate firsthand what these tools are capable of. Some topics we'll discover will be workpiece applications, competitive analysis versus a common alternative to rough boring. We'll look at the cutting configurations or the different ways these tools can be assembled to handle different application requirements. We'll talk a little bit about stock allowance considerations and then show some additional accessories and product additions to this program. So the primary application for these heads are cast and forged parts where we have excessive stock to remove prior to um, calling on a finished boring head to give a precise diameter. Generally speaking, you can think of a cast hole as an existing hole that is not round, not straight, or not in the correct location. And in the case of weld mints, uh, you kind of have the same thing where you have could have several plates in line with pre-existing holes, but once those parts are welded together, uh, none of the center line on those holes line up. So the twin cutter head with opposing cutting edges can correct for these out of round, out of location holes and give the finished tool the best chance for success. The most common alternative to twin cutting is interpolation with some sort of milling cutter Shown here, we have an indexable cutter. Um, the advantage of this type of tool is that it has uh, great versatility. Only one tool required for many different bore sizes. Obviously, the size is determined by the tool path that this uh, cutter is used on. And it's able to produce wide shoulders at the bottom of bores. The disadvantages is a limited boring depth due to the flute design of the cutting tool. Time consumption, typically we can bore about four times faster than an in interpolation pass. You're also increasing the wear on your machine tool spindle due to continuous radial forces with the side milling cut, which also makes it unstable in long reach applications. As well as your indexable mills will require typically many more inserts than a twin cut boring head that just has two so perishable costs over time will be higher uh, replacing the indexable inserts or a solid carbide cutting tool. The configuration of these boring tools. The most common configuration is balance cutting. This is where the inserts are set to the same diameter and height, resulting in cutting forces that are axial back into the spindle. So it's very stable for long reach applications and it also permits the highest cutting speeds and feeds. Alternatively, step cutting is basically two tools in one operation. You have a, a longer leading insert holder cutting a smaller diameter, taking approximately half of the stock with the first insert, followed by the second insert set at your final size. This is primarily used for larger, larger stock allowances and requires lower power consumption on the spindle for the same cut. Now we have a short demonstration cutting 4140 steel material to show the capabilities of the rough boring system. The first tool that we'll be running today is a two and a half inch indexable insert drill. Like the boring tools, this drill has the CKB modular tool connection, so assembly is quick and easy through the use of the single tapered set screw. Inside the connection, the CKB floating pin handles the heavy torque load of this cut. This tool will be running at 470 surface feet per minute, rotational speed 720 RPM. With a chip load of 5 thousandths per revolution, our linear feed will be 3.6 inches per minute.
Now we'll be running the SW53 boring head. This head is set for balance cutting, which is the most common cutting configuration. The existing hole will be opened up to 2 inches 850 thousandths with this cut, so it will be taking out 350 thousandths stock on diameter. The tool will be running at 850 surface feet per minute and a feed of 18 inches per minute. So the chip load is 16 thou per rev, but because this tool is balance cutting, it is two edge effective and each insert will be taking 8 thou of stock per revolution. The last cut had a load of 135% of the spindle power at that speed. Now we'll run the SW68 boring head in the step cutting configuration and take a much larger cut but still have the same or smaller spindle load. We've mounted the insert holders in the step cutting configuration so one cutting edge leads the other by about 16 thousandths. The lead insert was set to 3.2 inches and the shorter trailing insert set to 3.5. So in total we're taking 650 thousandths out on diameter for this pass. Step cutting is a single edge effective operation so while we're using the same 850 surface feet per minute we'll need to cut the feed rate in half. So the 8 thou chip load gives us a linear feed value of 7.4 inches per minute. This cut generated a 128% load on the spindle. So now you see how the big Kaiser SW rough boring tools can be configured for maximum productivity, whether it's high speed semi finishing or heavy stock allowance roughing. Okay, so it's easy to determine when you're trying to take too heavy a cut with these tools. You'll see issues like bore insert wear. Um, bad surface finish due to uh, poor chip evacuation and chips that just can't be evacuated from the hole. But oftentimes what's harder to diagnose is too little material being used with these tools. It's easy to think that these twin cutters should be able to go twice as fast as a single point tool and get the same results. However, it's almost impossible to match the diameter of both inserts exactly. So when you're trying to feed at twice the rate, your surface finish can actually be much worse. And unless you completely bury the nose radius of the inserts, radial forces are introduced that may not be equal at all times in the cut, and this will likely lead to chatter. So the general rule of thumb is to have at least 10% more stock per side than the nose radius of the insert that you're using to make a stable cut. And if you have excessive core shift or out of round conditions, you should probably increase that to 20 to 25 percent. Here we're showing some additional products within the twin cutter boring line. The series MW is a small um, balance cut only type cutter for semi finishing operations offered in a straight shank design and coming soon with carbide shanks as well for longer length to diameter ratios. The standard SW boring heads going from 787 to 8 inch diameter in connection sizes 1 through 7. And then the series 318 system which is in of itself a modular system containing not only roughing but finishing components as well. Some accessory products that we offer for the rough boring heads 
our back boring insert holders. These are a complement to our finished boring heads where the insert holders can be turned around for back boring. Chamfering insert holders feature an adjustable insert cartridge that can be changed from anywhere from 15 to 75 degrees. And then face grooving insert holders sold in single pieces or in sets to produce grooves at a fraction of the time versus milling. We've also incorporated the smart damper system into our twin cutter heads. In this case, the damper mechanism is located closest to the cutting edges to most effectively absorb cutting vibrations. The particular design ensures that we can adapt heads to common spindle types. And like all of our boring tools, they are through tool coolant capable. Some quick review. Twin cutters are the best solution to correct existing holes for poor roundness, straightness, and location. Balance cutting is the most common configuration type for highest speeds and feeds in roughing and semi-finishing. Step boring is used for heavy stock allowance, excessive core shift, and to reduce chip width in long chipping materials. High pressure cool through tool coolant is important in heavy cuts to aid in chip evacuation. And remember the accessory products to allow more versatility from your investment in twin cutter heads.